Okay, good morning. Uh, today is um, a great day. We have uh, Lisa Caprelli um, with us. Uh, she is uh, an author, award winner author for children. And um, thank you for accepting the invitation. Thank you, Elaine, for having me. So much fun. <laughs> yeah, so I... Um, I uh, just was browsing and I say, oh, maybe uh, it's a good idea to have her. So did you start these books because you're a preschool teacher or for another reason? Oh my gosh, many reasons. Well, I started, um, I changed my life. Uh, I was in 25 years branding and marketing and PR, um, yeah. helping other people grow their business. And I've had different businesses. And um, about three years ago, I wanted to create a book oh. around a character named Unicorn Jazz. Yeah. And my vision um, just three years ago was to create many books, which I've done since all of these. So um, I've always had a passion for writing. Um, I've now um, published 16 books. Five of yeah. them are Unicorn Jazz books and um, two are coloring books. And then I've done business books. I've done a book for teens called Skip a Step. Oh. Um, so you have and your so, publishing uh, company? Yeah. I have my own, um, I learned how to self-publish, I think 18 years ago, and then I have my own publishing company. That's and great. so I've been able to do this. It's it's a lot of work for sure. I mean, as anything is always work. Um, and um, so, because I grew up really shy, like Unicorn Jazz in yeah. my first book, um, my only voice I often say was on paper. So I grew up with a lot of writing. So for me, writing and turning something into a book, it probably what comes more natural to me. And uh, so I, I teach in the sense that I go into schools and I speak to the whole schools like assembly style. I think back when you were a kid and you'd have a speaker come in and you know, whether it's the auditorium or, or gymnasium. Oh yeah, to present your books, I see. And I talk, yeah, and then I talk about the messages behind them. And I talk about the story of, of, of kids always wanna know stories of imagination and who, does the art in this case it's Davy Villalobos my artist and oh, um, I teach you did that you did I teach about the all of the art. art and it's I yeah my cousin is an is a great artist it was his dream to become a published illustrator so he has since oh. done that since working together and now he's done other great work as well so what I started realizing when I started going into schools was the messages of how did you become that how maybe they if they have dreams and, and visions to to become a writer illustrator or more things and, and I actually go on and share behind the scenes of what my life journey has been like again I was a, imagine like if you're one of my students in the school that I'm speaking to and I say you know who, if you know anyone who's been shy like I was the shyest kid in the class probably the school my whole I was shy 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 um, and so the importance, the reason I say that is I, I would say it, my, my statistic number that I perceive is upwards of 50% of kids are more shy, more introverted, like me, you know, there's extrovert and introvert. I've learned how to not be shy now. I've learned how to take my words and speak now and doing a show and platform like yours, thank you very much. It brings more awareness. And I knew that as I've gotten older and grew up that I had to be the spokesperson for ultimately what I'm doing now. So I'm no longer shy. I can grow up in an auditorium of hundreds of kids, thousands of kids. You know, I've now been grateful to do podcasts that have big listenership. Um, so yes, I used to get stage right. I, I hardly ever do. Um, and it's something that I've learned how to do. Um, but in your, saying that- Your podcast is, uh, your audience is children? Well, my, when I speak at schools, it's, it's children of, of all ages, you know, kinder through sixth, sixth grade, even though I have speaking, I spoke to middle schools and high schools, you know, I changed my message. But I speak to adults, educators, principals, librarians, podcasters, people, great people like you doing great work in the world. Oh, so you, you, it's an ongoing effort to distribute the books. It's an, it's an awareness of, of yes, showcasing the work we've done uh, with the books, but um, also beyond that, uh, during the pandemic at the onset, I created a show called The Thing I Do that's based on my book, The Thing I Do, and there's a music video called The Thing I Do. Uh, 19 kids and adults helped me last May uh, to put together a song, a montage, 
And uh, all this was part of my vision in creating more awareness. So at a time where many people during the pandemic were at lockdown, which I was too, I said, well, we have technology, we have Zoom, what are things that we can do to still keep going and reaching people? So at that point, I couldn't go into schools a lot, you know, in person. So I did the next best thing as reaching them through Zoom, which the world learned. <laughs> and, um, and then I started connecting with kids on, on Instagram and social media, the, their parents obviously uh, saying, would you like to be part of our show and where you get to share the thing you do? That's what oh, this book is about. The thing you do is without an S, so it's only one thing? Well, it's the thing I do is this story with Treziki, my character that's introduced and it's teaching kids. Oops, it's teaching kids that everyone has something special. Everyone has something they like to do. That's what oh, the song okay. opening is. Okay. And then by the end, it's telling the kid or adult, because adults like this too, uh, what are the things you do? And at the end, we give examples of like, we all need different people in our lives. And it, to be, I teach the kids and, and adults to be interested in what other people do. Be interested in the person who, who figures out video and YouTube. Be, be interested in the science uh, people in the engineer like we all need each other to make the world go round it just happens for me this is the thing I do is is books and speaking but I'm always interested just like you when you interview people on what their story is what do they do um, I was speaking with with um, someone yesterday who's going to and then they do videos based on the thing I do that's showcased on our social media and our show I was speaking and, to an elevator you, you do this on top of your regular marketing job I, yeah, I no longer do more. I'm, I, my, I market for Unicorn Jazz. I, I stopped doing marketing years ago. I took I took on the brand of Unicorn Jazz and it's, oh, it's a full-time it's job the, for me. It's your own company. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So basically you, uh, you have decided to develop that. How many years have you been a writer? Well, I mean, I've been a writer my whole life and everything I've done. I mean, since I was seven, I would say I learned how the power of writing. But um, as far as a published author, uh, about 16 years now. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> so so when you send your books to, to libraries, you send it uh, first to look at then if they want to order. Is that it? It's there's so many ways they find us through Google searches that they want they type in social emotional learning, for example, in Google, some of my books will come up with uh, beyond the book free resources we have for teachers. Um, all of my books come with free education, um, how to use the books, coloring pages, all these different things oh, that I have some, teachers. Uh, there's some activities. Okay for every single book it's it's so many free resources and it gets the kids excited about learning beyond the book which you know a lot of times with all kinds of books sometimes teachers make lesson plans to go with them well one of my sisters is a teacher uh, um uh and she gave me all these ideas again i have a big team of people that help me so it's not just okay. me i have hundreds of people to always thank for all the work and visions when they get to know the work and and the the big picture we have I, so I built when I could to come up with the topic for a new book you consult with your sister and say and she says yes that's what the kids um are. not necessarily I have so many books in my head and notes I, I want to be like Dr. Seuss where I can write many and ongoing until the day I die <laughs> um I write the story and um I then talk with my illustrator week we're going to put it to art um but everyone comes I, I I have so many different stories. I'm such a storyteller now and I my mind's always going creatively. Like I I, I can't, I need more illustrators probably to keep up with the story. Be careful because uh, I heard Dr. Zeus books, some of them have been banned from republishing because of- Oh, uh, yeah. Well, my uh, books are nothing like his. It's just, I say Dr. Seuss because he wrote many books. You know, there was yeah, yeah. Sid Hoff. I was introduced to Sid Hoff in first grade. <laughs> the across the board, uh, all, all ethnic groups, right? Right. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, we have so many things going on. My books are um, um, quoted as being um, love for diversity. I mean, unique unicorn. That's what, you know, what she stands for is we're, we're all unique. We're supposed to be different. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. We all, oh, um, mean, I'm Latina. So I, you know, I can relate to, to people, you know, wanting to be proud of being different. Um, in this first book, she has a musical note for a tale. She's actually trademarked. 
and ongoing. And I did that on purpose, kind of like Hello Kitty's brand and trademark, you know, Mickey Mouse, then there's Unicorn Jazz. So I'm on a mission with the incredible team and support of, of people everywhere um, to, to make Unicorn Jazz and everything we're doing that's educational and content with the show, the thing I do show, um, and all the kids, uh, professional kids, and I have directors now, and all these things we're working to get to a national and one day global level so that yeah. we can create so, awareness. So the, the illustration are uh, with the variety of ethnic groups, yeah. It's not, there's not ethnic groups, they're all animal characters, but oh, my stories okay. are so about that, like kind of- Eliminate the, uh, the problem then if it's just animals. Yeah, it's just animals and unicorn jazz, obviously unicorns are not real as we know, but if you see them, the unicorns are celebrated anywhere by all people, by all genders, by all ages. And that is oh, one that's of the good, reasons that's I good. chose. So animals are loved by everyone. Yeah, I can see that now, okay. So it's, it looks like fun, those horses with the pink tails and all that. So it's, it's, it's uh, like three-year-old kind of books, yeah. Yeah, it's for, I mean, for babies, can, that moms come into babies and adults love them. Um, I wrote Being Happy for all ages, kind of like the Love Is book, oh. where people can then think what makes them happy. These just happen to be, you know, at my age now, I love going to the beach. I, I get to live five blocks from the ocean, which was a dream of mine growing up in Texas. I never saw an ocean until I was 17. So now you um, have your dream come true, huh? Yeah, and many things. And so I tell people like, well, what do you like to do when you're playing? And who likes to dance, you know? And I'm like, you know, a lot of people. So that's people dancing, animals dancing. When you were little, did you like to play imagination? Do you, do you still like to create? Well, that's what that page is. So who here likes, you know, nature? Um, I have the picture, these blue, because I, it's kind of like I get them to think the kids. Yes, yeah, so um, if you like the, art. This is what you do uh after work right to make you happy and during work you have to still be happy and do something you you like to do yeah i mean happiness is free uh, everything in here at the end i point out like all of these you know it's to be happy is really a, a, as we know it's a choice you know um and and to enjoy the pleasures of simple things, watching a sunset, does that cost yeah. anything? Yeah, you know? that makes sense, that makes sense. Everything they can do is free. And uh, so you actually live by this beach? I live in Huntington Beach, yeah, the, yeah. By, um, five blocks. And I mean, every day I get to walk, um, sometimes twice a day. I never take it for granted. I still um, enjoy, oh, I enjoy. Yes, I, I was raised also like, um, uh, maybe four blocks from the beach and for 18 years I enjoyed the beach almost daily and so so I, I did what you're doing uh, during my childhood mostly but now I don't live next to the beach and makes a difference in the person's life right because yeah I'm I mean it's cold and it's cold it's right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, when I get to travel and tour different schools, um, which I know we'll get back to one day in person. Um, I love everywhere I go. I, I love meeting new people. I love seeing new places. I, I'll never get tired. I mean, my, my lifelong vision is, is to travel the world and, and speak positive messages to children with the stories. Some of my books are in Spanish. Um, I'm getting this one also is in Spanish and it's oh, getting worked on in, in French. Um, and you know, I could always find a translator anywhere I go. But my my goal is to travel really the world, long, you know, long term, and um, share the messages in schools. And I mean, there's kids everywhere. The, the beautiful yeah. thing is, I like but to travel. The kids who live in New York or in cities, they cannot go to the beach or watch a sunset. They, they have to find alternatives uh, that makes them happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I do when I go into schools, if I could show you, um, I get people I have, I have get make your own what makes you happy pages and kids do and adults do I'll go into a oh, school. They are the ones who and then they they'll make their own like oh, I, this is okay. one school, the whole That's school awesome. made these, these are tiny compared they did their own like flag pages all over the schools. 
That's and a great I mean, idea. I like, I like was crying just that they, I mean, this is just a sample. I have hundreds of these and I never oh. get tired of, of people sending what makes them happy. You know, my one kid being happy is being with my friends and family, playing games, playing soccer. And again, so it's, what, it's whatever, just, whatever makes them happy in their current circumstances. Yes. And it's, and it's all right and it's all true it's all true you can have unlimited happiness and what makes you happy and and for me especially this is an important time and onward that to focus on to be a leader of happiness like that's why i started when i the show i we made puppets we turned unicorn jazz into puppets and then oh, that's as cute well as treziki Tre who um and we have other characters like a narwhal so that's in my new ocean animal book so we um I'm constantly you creating have someone things making that people notes can... for you. Yes, I I have a team. That's a whole another story. It's a lot of work. I'm working to make um my um into like a, a baby board book to each baby. So this is almost done as well. And then I have songs that go with all the books. I wish I could, you know, show you on this show, but um I could send it to you. Oh online. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of uh, things that go with the book. You can do a puppet yeah. show, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know those people who they do puppet shows. You have enough characters yeah. there to do a, a puppet show. Oh yeah, I just yeah, I just need a great vision. In fact, I got I have um, I'm starting the summer to speak um, at some malls to the little kids, and I'm they want my puppets, and you know I I just bring them to life with the stories, and I, I'm learning as I go. I don't I never was a puppeteer. I never knew I was gonna turn my characters into these things, and. Um, when people ask me, it's a, I have a team that does it. I mean, you know, there's just so many trade secrets and things that go into it. I mean, look how beautiful this is. And, and these take so much time. I have such a respect now for how things are made and toys and how frustrating it is when um, they are not right. Um, but like this one, you know, she has a musical note for a tail. I mean, it's yeah. just like it's right yeah. out of the book. But again, oh. this, this takes time to do. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. You need the special skills uh, to do these things, um, and it's uh, good that nowadays we can outsource all these little projects, right? Yes. Oh yeah, that's why I say I rely on a team. I might oversee it and direct this. I've written songs now. I didn't know I was going to do that and become a songwriter, but I'm one of those people. And as I teach kids and adults, is you know, if there's something you want to do and you set your mind to it, you can ask someone, team up with one, figure it out. Um, and for me, I want things done sometimes faster than, than they can be done, but I'm the type of person that if I don't know, I go ask for people. I'll ask strangers. Like I'll find people on social media doing the thing that they do. Do you and, put your picture in the back of the book so they know who is um, the author? Um, so on the first one I did, on some of oh. them subsequent, I, I don't, but because when people order my subsequent books, they kind of know they can um, know your name okay yeah i t you know i have my website i um it just depends i just find the more books i do i i our brand um is thankfully growing uh i don't i i just i care more about what the message is for the kids more than me showcasing who i oh, am oh yeah yeah it's not you it's not about you it's about the kids okay mm -hmm. that's good <laughs> That's good. Then you they, do you have a lot of nephews and nieces and all that? Not that are young anymore. I do have a big family being Hispanic. I grew up with a big family, but I'm constantly around kids, you know, and I'm, I have two boys now, my two sons, I have a 30 year old and I have a 15 year old son. I always wish I had girls. I God gives you what you can handle. And I love my boys. But now I do get to work with a lot of girls and kids. So I have what I call unicorn jazz kids okay. all over the country that oh, little ones little ones around all the ages all I, I go to schools I make new friends I never get tired of people writing to me on social media sending me images of their kids reading the books or some of my stories are on Amazon TV now Amazon Prime really? um yeah <laughs> that's good that's good Amazon TV I never heard of that can you put an interview like this on Amazon TV no um uh, probably not. <laughs> it would be hard. You'd have to. It's. I don't want to say no. You probably could, but I, that's a whole process. I have a team. Oh yeah, yeah. Family. It's a process with Amazon. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 I heard about it a, a few years ago, but I never pursued it. Um, but I know that it has been around for a while. Um, so it, it's uh, it's great that you're doing this. How long does it take you 
and on average to illustrate, write, and put together a book? I would say, I mean, the beginning we've got pretty fast. Um, I we ha we we have a slower process now because of the strategy, and we're doing multiple things. Um, so for a new book, I could say we're going like I have a book called Ocean Animals um, that's coming out in June, and we started oh, last August. August. We started it last August, it's, and we're launching it in June. So oh, you know. that should be. But, a lot of but fun. there's some books that I did much faster. It's just there's so much strategy and marketing and decisions that go into like, again, I, I can keep writing and, and many books, but it's, it's also comes with the team and who's going to do what. Okay. Sounds good. So it depends how fast you want the idea to develop and how long you want the book to be. The book is about 20 pages on average, right? Um, 28 pages is what you need minimum typically to publish a children's 28? book. 28. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds like the right amount of pages for a young child uh, to to digest. You know, uh, they they have they might read it in two times or depends how. Yeah, there's that. no. I mean, there's no like law on it, but that's just my that's my basic statistic research. There, I could go into it more if people. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I, you no, know. because they have after they read a little bit, the attention span start to waver. <laughs> So, right right so that's good that you have limited the pay number of pages i remember when i was young i liked the short books <laughs> oh yeah no i you know i love picture books and when i was young going into libraries because again you and i we didn't have google back then we didn't have yeah. digital we actually that's had true. to go get the book and touch and feel it but i love picture books um and when when we grew up and go into chapter books with no pictures i was like where are the pictures so yeah, I'm very remember, visual. Um, Michelle Obama reading to children in libraries uh, yeah. because she she wanted to promote literacy. But uh, uh, reading uh, to little kids is still in libraries. I mean, when they reopen. And yeah. They reopen in June. Uh, oh, yay. That's June 15, yeah. we are reopening Wait. here. And now yeah. if you vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. So that's good. <laughs> Yay. Well, if you ever see an opportunity or, or anyone uh, for me to read at, at a library or something, or, you know, that's, I mean, that's my life. That's, I, I never get like, tired of, of reading the story and, and sharing the friendship. Well, line. the good news is uh, this week, they vaccinating 12 to 16 years old. So yeah. we're getting there. I know my son's getting vaccinated on Tuesday. He's 15. Yeah. So uh, once everybody is vaccinated, there won't be any reason to not read to kids anymore exactly you said it right yeah so that should open more uh opportunities for you to go out there oh yes it'll get back to a new normal um and i'm excited about that i'm excited my messages and stories don't expire i mean messages about being kind and you know we always can use that <laughs> messages about being kind and Actually, um, during the pandemic, your people stayed at home a lot, so they probably read more, right? Um, you know, it's yes and no. It just depended. During uh, this semester, you know, in 2021, I was doing nonstop of uh, uh, virtual Zoom type presentations in schools. Okay, to, to the schools all over the country. The beautiful part was I just had to come into the studio. And I could be in New York in one hour and be in California, another Texas, another, you know, um, pacing them out. So I just took my concept of going assembly style in the person and actually present a show. And now because I do have these puppets and characters, I open with a video, a five minute video. Um, so I took advantage of the technology opportunities for kids to entertain them. So when I do go back to in person, I have I'm bringing so much more to this the presentations I do, it really is a, a whole experience. Okay, sounds like uh, it's, a, it's a total organization to, you probably have someone who book your appearances and then someone who- It's, it's, a, it's a work, it's a, it's a company we have. And so yeah, I'm, I'm, it's not just, I'm, I'm a children's author. I'm grateful that that's my title I like to use. <laughs> But Unicorn Jazz is is a is a is a company a brand. It's a mission, and um, many people know the mission and connect me and us with going into schools or. 
going into the malls, going, I'm do, going to photo shoots, a, a tea, I'm playing a princess this month, um, dressing in this beautiful dress. And I get to be the princess meeting kids, singing songs, uh, all these things. So did I you, never say did, no to yeah, those things. You, did you ever do a book on jazz and music? Not yet. That's in my that's in my works. Um, I do have a lot of music videos and songs. I have like six or seven songs that I've done now. So a lot of those will go into our show. The thing I do, we put them on Spotify, Apple, all those um, iHeart, all 30 plus music platforms. So again, yeah, like I just, kids like music, they play piano or they play guitar or they play the drum. Oh no, I love music. I'm not a great singer. That's why I outsource or get kids. No, um, it'd be good but, uh, to have a book about different uh, musical instruments. And I know I've been told that. So I need to put that on, especially because I, Unicorn Jazz, her special talent is that she likes to sing. Ah. So, so yes, I, I get so many ideas. And again, I just, um, I need another Lisa. <laughs> Yes, good. Not everybody can be a superstar singer, though, because uh, it's very rare that someone makes it big. But yeah. you never know if one child is born with that star on their... Yeah. Oh, I have so many kids. I call them my unicorn jazz kids um, that are part of, of unicorn jazz. And the thing I do, I brought them in, I bring them into my school visits and I show that, let them show off. I have a kid, Emily Isabel, who's on the Sound of Music musical Broadway tour, went to 93 plus cities, and uh, she'll just get on and sing to them songs. And again, she's been training and, and acting since she was, you know, five, six, seven oh, years she old. She actually goes to those presentations? She comes on the Zoom with me. I mean, you know, oh. we can just bring her on. She's in New York. Um, but oh, we have awesome. one day when we go in person, she can come with me to some. She is an actor, singer, does all these things. But... She and her mom, Victoria, they um, are a dear family of mine, as many are. I have another kid named Red Drennan, his mom, Jenny, she's helping. She's her background is directing and writing. So again, the silver lining of the pandemic has brought me together with amazing, talented people. Like I, it's mouth dropping when I show people some of the work and the videos. Oh yeah, people that, you couldn't have met otherwise and that you meet online. They wouldn't have had the time. And that's yes. the thing that for me, I said, well, we, we have the time, you have the time and talent, let's team up. And, and I think that's a beautiful lesson in life is that we all need each other. People need people. And now beyond this time, I have all these people that believe in me and I believe in them and we are help, we're here to help each other. And I think in life, that's, that's something we should always remember that we need to help and support each other. And that's I will... True. During yeah. the pandemic, uh, I realized I could interview people from all over the world. I interviewed people from Australia, India, right? yeah, uh, and great. things I couldn't do before in the studio. I would invite only locals. Oh, and right. now during the pandemic, I invited people from all over the world. Yeah, because I could meet them on Zoom. <laughs> I know, and it's the same here. And it's hard to say no for me. I I will take. You know, I get requests for podcast interview and I never say no. I fit it into my schedule because that's one more person that I get to know like you. And then I get to, we get to follow each other's work. And, you know, I always tell people any way I can help you spread your message. If, you know, you want more speakers, people, you know, like, like let's help each other. And, and that's a, a, there's a currency in helping. It doesn't always have to mean that, you know, what am I going to do for you? What are you going to do for me? But why don't we help each other? Because we're good people. Why don't we help each other? Because we are spending the time to know each other. And, yeah. you know, I know a lot of people, I have a, a lot of background of people that I built. It comes through work and relationships, just like you do. And just like many of us do. And mm -hmm. it, to me, it's, it's help others. I mean, that's something that I'll always continue doing. Well, the message is wonderful. So uh, thank, thank you. you for joining. Um, what's your idea so what's your idea is about children books uh, with different ideas of uh, uh, children topics and uh, it looks like you're on a good start with 17 books so you have a long ways to go I'm sure you, you can as you speak to people you'll get tons of more ideas <laughs> I do and I love them all and I love all the the people suggestions story. and yeah, yeah. so just... thank you again enjoy the rest of the day i don't know how sunny it yes. is in huntington beach but i'm sure you it's a good uh, 
place yes to to... i'm going out to the beach to help a friend um we're doing some volunteer work i'm going to take a picture of us real quick yeah sure. sure behind the scenes i have to move this camera no but if i move it i won't get me see these are all my desk has all this stuff on it see <laughs> you got it okay thank you so much Alina. thank you have a great day okay bye bye, bye. everyone thanks for having me thank you